just a bit a bit to say now about uh, drama. I'll, I'll say more about this t tomorrow. But the um, the situation with with um, the Hevetry Whipton experiment has uh, created a, 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 it's got me in, into drama because it's just getting too too complicated. There's too many different versions of what has already happened or what might happen or uh, what is going to happen and so forth um, how things are represented the blob the blob comes into it um, is there a blob probably not but there's the things can happen in such a way that maybe a blob would exist or could be it could be presented as if there was uh, so things like how consultations are done or perceived who who thinks there was one or what happened during it or what the scope of it is or whether there will ever be another one or what circumstances uh, all of those sorts of things that come come in come into it and um, so I've I've Oh, have I, t oh, I haven't explained about the bus stop. Yeah, pre previously, um, one of the one of the issues disgruntled of Hevetry uh, remarked about the the sort of information available in a bus stop, and uh, it was very hard to, to to see because it was all it was a, it was this was just print design, putting the information in quite small type, quite high up. Where nobody can 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 find it, um, but then um, Chris pointed out that the bus stops in the bus station in Exeter uh, will talk to you. You just press a button and it says you're at stand a number, and the next bus is going to be here in seven minutes, and it's going somewhere or another, um, and that's that's pretty good. So we we worked on that and uh, in on the on the wild show and uh developed um a much more advanced bus stop which could exist anywhere which is more or less a voice interface to a computer system a networked computer system but then it became clear that it would need to be video just to protect the equipment because if 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 the bus shelter has got all kinds of kit inside it m it might go missing but if it's got video and um, networking and so forth, it, it could it could ask for help. It could send out a message, and some sort of assistance would have, would arrive, uh, prob probably quite quite quickly. So then AI has happened. So the 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 bus a bus stop of that nature would be capable of quite a lot, and. Um, I've I've sort of developed this as a, as a conversation that at the start or towards the start of the of the wild show, and it it's um it's not every week, but when there's something to talk about, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again tomorrow round round about ten o'clock. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, Chris Norton is the bus passenger, so he might be standing at the bus stop or in a wheelchair at the at the bus stop, um, and. JD, the producer, he is the voice of the bus stop. So he will summarise whatever has been overheard and pass on official information. And over time has become a bit of a gossip because um, inside Heritage Whipton area, there, there is all kinds of things being said. So that's that's the, the, the basis of it. And I'm, I'm kind of... Gonna, and there's lots of things you could you could look at, but the the two things which I think are interesting at the at the moment are the 15 minute city um, and the 20 miles an hour thing, because um, I d I don't think the 15 minute city has been has been very widely publicised or understood until the idea that that, that it's a great danger and should be opposed that's that seems to me to have got more publicity than the original idea 
but what what people think about it i'm not i'm not quite sure but if the situation is that um traveling is going to become much more difficult because i think there's still lots of people who do depend on cars or taxis for different reasons um so that's and the 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 there's there's different reasons why 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 even if you can get out of the area the 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 peripheral roads are, are more more and more difficult to anyway maybe the ideas of the of the 15 minute city are, are, are interesting and if if people could work from home um do lo- a lot more online there or anywhere um it's wor- it's worth worth investigating that so there may be a positive aspect to the 15 minute city you you don't have to stay in the 15 minute city Heavetry Whipton area every day so like my own situation is that I I could I could stay there maybe 5 days a week and come to the phonic studio on Wednesday and Thursday um that's a which takes about 25 minutes um uh, from w- roughly where the bus stop is, which is the like the Heavetry Health Centre. Let's take that as one spot. Um, so that's that's one thing. But then the the other thing is the twenty mile an hour, which seems to be another another topic for debate at the moment. The circumstances in which it's um, legitimate or to be supported, that's uh, that's open to debate. But I would say that North Street is a suitable case uh, because because other roads are blocked. I'm just going to say roads are blocked. I know there's other ways to describe it, but there's a lot of traffic going through North Street that didn't previously. Um, now, possibly within the 18 months, it will gradually reduce. That's one theory. That's what. That's why I think it should be done as a play. Um, because in a in a play you can have simultaneously lots of different points of view. So one point of view is that the what appears to be additional traffic on North Street Hevetry will disappear, and we have to wait eighteen months to know whether it's going to disappear or not. Uh, so that's one one point of view. But another point of view would be that people driving along seem to think that although there is 20 miles an hour limits there's not a lot of signs saying that that's the case and maybe um, depending on what what is said about 20 mile an hour limits um, some of them are reasonable some of them are not reasonable the ones that are unreasonable makes a case for ignoring the ones that may or may not be reasonable um anyway i i let, j- let's have a look at um north street Hevetry. and there is there is another bus stop there so that bus stop could observe what's going on and remark about 20 mile an hour limits um i i th- also think there could be a, a zebra crossing or two zebra crossings between the health centre and Robinson's News, in that in that sort of area, but that would have to wait, as I understand it, for the eighteen months of the experiment to know whether it was necessary. And again, although some people locally might think there's more traffic, in theory there could be less traffic because of everything that's going on. So that that all lends itself to a drama, and. The other thing that lends itself to a drama is an independent candidate who would stand in an election of some kind. Um, it might be a county council election. It might be a, a, a parliamentary election. I don't, I don't know what sort of election, but it would be over three Thursdays in May. So this um, this play would... would I'm, 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 I don't know whether... JD and Chris are, are open to this uh, to do it in May on the Wild Show but I, I'm, I might write some sort of script about it or notes for it 
um, but it would have it would have sort of th three bits in it. One, one, one week describing what what was going on before the 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 debate, and then the middle bit would be the incidents or um, possibly it would be when Devon County Council realised they had to listen to some sort of input from the people who lived locally and they responded in some way because so far the consultation is not perceived and I think this would be the basis of the of the drama um, the consultation is not not really a consultation as uh, I think that would be, that would be um, I, I know that the the expression echo thinks that that people should have a more open mind so there's other points of view as well but all all of these points of view would be expressed in the middle bit of the of the um, of the drama and then possibly there would be some sort of resolution there would be because um, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of people who, who, who are concerned about climate change and who understand what some of the aims are but they just don't think that um, traffic congestion or is being reduced or air quality improved by what's going on at this time so that I mean but again there's all kinds of different points of view about that and they could all be included um, in some sort of dramatic format I think that's that's enough of that going going well it's long long enough we'll come back to it uh, there's there's definitely material there for a a, a, um, a continuing dramatic uh, cont bit, bit of content which is uh, it's not the main the, ma <laughs> the main thing Devon County Council is concerned with, obviously to produce bits of radio. But uh, there, there's a lot of radio um, possible, I think, around this. Anyway, back to the playout system. 